Okay, uh, welcome viewers. So today's lecture, uh, we want to learn about that how to find the inverse of a relation. Okay, uh, let A and B be two non empty sets okay. define a relation R on A to B by uh, in this relation uh, we have all the coordinate pairs such that A comes from B and B comes from B. Okay. Then inverse of the relation, uh, it is just obtained by swapping the element A and B. Okay. So uh, where you have A, it now becomes B and where you have B, it now becomes A. So we just interchange the position of the elements A and B, where B belongs to B and A belongs to A. So what we observe from this is that whatever is the domain of the relation R, okay, that is now the range of relation R inverse. And whatever is the range of relation R, that is now the domain of R inverse. Okay, so this thing is uh, very very uh, important to remember that the domain of R this is equal to the range of R inverse, and the range of R this is equal to the domain of R inverse. Okay, so we simply solve uh, one or two examples. Uh, to find the inverse of the relation. Okay, so consider sets A equal to 1, 2, 3 and set B uh, which is equal to A, B and now the relation R uh, it is given like this 1 comma A 2 comma A, 1 comma B, and 3 comma C. Okay. So the question is this that find relation R inverse. So it is very easy to find the relation R inverse. See what is R? R here is 1 comma A, and 2 comma A. 1 comma b and 3 comma c okay now what is r inverse just interchange the position of these elements okay it then becomes a comma 1 here it becomes a comma 2 here it becomes b comma 1 here it becomes c comma okay now what is the uh, domain of R inverse. The domain is the set of all first elements of these coordinate pair. Okay, so it is A, B, and C. Okay, and what is the range of R inverse? Uh, range is the set of all second elements of the coordinate pair. So second element here is one, and the second element here is two, and here uh, we have one but uh, I have already written one so leave it then the next element is three. okay the domain of R inverse and the range of R inverse are given over here okay so we solve one more uh, very quick example for finding the uh, R inverse and finding the domain and the range of the R inverse okay so the question is that if we have set A in which we have element like 1, 2, 3, 4, and one set we have B, 
in which we have element 20, 22. Okay, and uh, uh, the relation is given like this: 1 comma 20 and 1 comma 22. Okay, so the question is find R inverse. Also find domain and range of R inverse. Okay. Solution. Uh, what is R? R here is one comma twenty and one comma twenty two. Okay. So what is R inverse? Just interchange the position of these elements, so it becomes twenty comma one, and it becomes twenty two comma one. Okay. Now, what is domain of R inverse? Domain is twenty and twenty two. What is range of R inverse? It is simply one. Because at the second position, you just have element 1. So, this is the domain of R inverse, this is the range of R inverse. I hope you people have understood this topic. Uh, more about it will be discussed in the next class.